Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, we are honored to be hosting this meeting of the IOM uh, Roundtable on Population Health, uh, co-chaired by George and Dave Kindig, a longtime colleague. Uh, we don't talk about how long time ago it is anymore, I'm afraid. Um, and a uh, special thanks to Jim Nickman and his colleagues, Jacqueline Martinez and Lourdes Garcia, who, Rodriguez, who have uh, put to, been very supportive of promoting the issue of population health in New York. And we're delighted that they saw fit to uh, host this event here in New York and to uh, hopefully catalyze even more activity in the state um, around this issue uh, for us. Uh, we think the New York Academy of Medicine is uh, particularly suited to this conversation on population health. Uh, we've been advancing the health of populations in cities uh, since 1847. And uh, our major uh, mechanisms of work are through research and evaluation, um, policy advocacy, education, and community engagement. And we focus very strongly on the sort of the upstream determinants of health, really dealing with how you create communities that offer healthy choices to those who live in them, especially uh, the most disadvantaged. So our current uh, priority areas are healthy aging. Uh, we've been very involved with the age-friendly New York City and the national international movement there, which is really about creating environments for older persons to age uh, with active engagement in their communities. Uh, the area of prevention, um, very working very hard on obesity prevention and uh, preventing non-communicable diseases, promoting mental health and uh, preventing substance abuse around the state of New York. Um, the issue of health disparities, which is some fundamental to the conversations on the issue of population health at all times, and uh, preserving and promoting the heritage of medicine and public health. We have a, a world-class collection in um, history of medicine and public health. If you have a moment uh, to uh, pop up and see it, you can tell folks at the desk. They'll be happy to show it to you. Um, and uh, if not, come back another time. Um, Business is a really important factor. Economic development is a crucial factor in achieving population health. Um, it's been a fundamental part of a large multi-stakeholder group that's been steering something called a prevention agenda in New York State. The Northeast Business Group on Health, the New York State Business Council have been very involved along with obviously members of the hospital industry. Um, the business community um, has been a major participant in age-friendly New York City. Uh, working both on the issue of older persons as purchasers as well as older persons as employees, both of which are important issues, and we're happy to host the uh, HSMART Employer Award, uh, which was uh, is in its second round at this point in time. Uh, we were also very pleased to sponsor uh, and host with uh, the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, SOCAP, and the Federal Reserve a meeting the end of June. Um, uh, really looking at the dialogue, trialogue between business and investors, the social investment community, with uh, people in the development work and in the health uh, area to begin to have a dialogue about how we can bring private dollars uh, at greater levels into uh, economic development programs uh, in communities. So uh, your being here today on this topic is particularly uh, germane to that work and to the uh, movement to really see and create win-win opportunities for business uh, to promote population health in the communities in which they live and serve and also um, more broadly globally. Um, I co-chair with uh, Clara Ann Johnson from Exxon a New Roundtable uh, on uh, public-private partnerships for global health, which began about a month ago, uh, and we're really looking to um, see, uh, understand how business makes its decisions about entering into uh, development um, activities in low and middle income countries and how we can um, accelerate that process and create sustainable change. So um, look forward to the day. I join, be delighted to be here and listen and learn. Thank you, George.